He's a confident teenager and adventurer. He's had a lot of basic training up until now. He's just come to me by my client that owns him, and a very good job he's done this far too. He's come to be experienced with game and that kind of thing because it was feared that he might be just a little bit... In fact, it's been admitted to me a couple of things that, that despite all the best intentions, he actually had a little chase of a hare, he had a little chase of a pheasant too. All the things we try and prevent. A number of you all know how easily this is done as well as I do. He's also... Reva, pay attention. Good boy. He's also got uh, uh, just a wee bit of a delivery problem. He's become a little bit impatient. He was all right initially, brought it right in very nicely, but he's got now so that he uh, gets into it and goes, oh, well, there you are, that'll do you. So we've got to try and tighten up on that and insist on getting the right thing. We'll see how we go about it. But in all other respects, he's quartering, he stops on the whistle, he walks the heel nicely. He's relatively steady to everything that I've done with him so far. And I've only had him a couple of days, so I'm really just getting to know him nicely. But I'm forewarned and forearmed, and I've looked at him, and if you take him along and he's walking the hill, he goes, ah, now, what's that? His eyes are like hawks, they're ready for anything. And you're always careful with a dog like this. They're a pleasure to work with when you get uh, the right result at the end of it, but up until that point, they do need watching, they're into everything. So what I do, I just give him a little quarter, see how we get on with, uh, with him quartering, and then I'm going to give him a straightforward seam retrieve and see how we get on with the delivery. Oh, gee, the boy. Good boy. Encourage him when he comes back to me, Reva. Come on, man, leave that. Good boy, come on. Good boy. Reva. Good boy, hear the baby. Good boy. You can see that... Uh, my client has certainly told him what the stop whistle is. None of that loud blasting. Reaver. Confident, isn't he? Boy, go, Reaver. Good boy. Good boy. Go, Reaver. Good boy. Yeah, the man. Good boy. Reaver. Come on. Reaver. 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 Fetch. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Now, it was my intention to try and get a good delivery there, but he humbugged about with it on the way back, so therefore I'm going to, I'll take that and be grateful for what I can get, rather than having to pick it up off the floor. Because what I want a dog to do is not to think that I'm going to take it off the floor, but that he is going to give it to me. Even if it's not perfect, it will be in the end. So we'll back off that a little bit. I'll give him a small one, see if I can get him to tell him confidently and give it to me, because after all, what we're trying to achieve at the end of it is just the end result. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, Reva. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, Reva. Fetch. 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 Reaver, Reaver, come here, come here, come here, Reaver, good boy, good boy, good boy, yeah, good boy, no, Reaver, fetch, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, fetch, good boy, yeah, that's a good boy, good boy, good boy, Good boy, yeah, good boy. Good boy, 